Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be an autumn hack. So I'm taking Smokey out and we're going to be picking up Ellie and Brandy, who's my best friend and her horse, and they're going to be accompanying us around a hack around Eskrick Estate, which is not too far from us. It's a really nice estate, lots to do. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Autumn's actually one of my favourite months. I am more of a summer girl, but I do love the beauty of autumn. So I thought we'd do something a bit more autumn themed. So today's video sponsor is Ariat Europe and they've sent me some lovely items to wear for this video that I'm going to quickly show you now. And then we're going to jump into the action and I'm going to head down to the yard and start preparing Smokey Stable for the day. And then we're going to grab the ponies and head to Eskrick. So today I am literally head to toe in Ariat, starting out with my beautiful coat. So this is the Tempest Waterproof Insulated Parka. It's perfect for autumn. It's nice and insulated and warm, but not too bulky. And you can actually ride in this. It has the full riding zips at the back and a removable hood um, and just beautiful detailing that makes it the perfect autumn winter coat. And underneath I'm wearing the new Venture collection, starting with the Venture Thermal Half Grip Tights in Estate Blue. These are brilliant because they're really nice and thin but thermal, you can wear them on their own or you can actually use them to layer up under different breeches. And then the top I'm wearing is the Venture Base Layer which is full coverage and also has these look like thumb holes which are so good in winter to keep your hands nice and warm and finally for this morning I'm wearing the Burford insulated zip rubber boots these are so comfy and cushioned and I'll be changing to my riding boots later but for now it's time to head down to the stables and muck out Mr Smokey so today before we go out because we're not going to later I'm going to do his stable first so that I don't have to worry about this when we come back from our adventures later So it's quite mild today and I also get really warm when I'm mucking out, I don't know about you guys. So it wasn't long until I was taking my coat off, but the good thing is about the Venture Collection, it's made with AirTech and ClimateTech, so it keeps you nice and warm but also cools down really quickly if you do get a little bit too hot.
as well as keeping myself dry, warm and comfortable this winter, I am definitely all about that for my horses, which is why they get nice big beds, especially Smokey because he does like to trample it in every now and again. So I give him extra large banks and extra amounts of bedding. Um, a few people said on the yard, does he need a ladder to get up there? but I would much sooner he had a nice big comfy bed um, and was nice and warm on an evening because he does like to lay down. So guys, I've just finished at the yard and just jumped in the car because I'm running a little bit late. I got slightly carried away with mucking out. So now I need to head back to my parents' house and go and pick up the horse box. Um, and then on my way back to get smokes, I'm going to pick up Brandy um, and Ellie who are coming with us today to Estergrick. Um, because it just makes more sense they're kind of like on the way if I go a certain way so hopefully that'll save a little bit of time because I am a little bit late um, you know I just had to get those banks right uh, nothing to do with the fact that I may have been chatting but yeah in a rush so let's get going so I went to go pick up the horse box and then drove to Ellie's yard and I swear to God horses know exactly when you're in a rush and do the absolute opposite of what you want them to do. So for the first time in forever Brandy decided she didn't want to load today. We did get her on eventually but she just wanted to put up a little bit of a fight. Um, I swear they just they just knew we were in a rush and that kind of set the tone for the rest of the day. Oh, have we gone the wrong way? gone the wrong way but we've got the ponies on so we're only oh at least we're, <laughs> we're going the wrong way but at least we're all together ah, brilliant <laughs> right oh, stay oh. tuned <laughs> i'm so stressed use the left lane to take exit 38 or to be 12 30 towards gilbert <laughs> shut up you're Oh, where are you going? Oh, this is getting dangerous, right? Over and out. So despite the diversions and everything else going off, we did finally arrive. We were actually an hour late. So that wasn't exactly ideal. So we very quickly popped the horse's bridles on and started unloading. And then Smokey tried to run me over because that's standard Smokey. Um, so we really need to get tacked up pretty quickly and get going today because... Eskrick Park is a big old place and now, thanks to daylight savings, we don't have that much time in the daylight. finally got the horses fully tacked up and it was time to jump on board. So last time we came to Eskrick, it was a very chaotic experience, shall we say. And I think today we're in for an even more chaotic one because from the second the ponies have got off the box, they have chosen violence. Um, so yeah, 
this might be interesting if Ellie can ever get on board brands. And so we're off. So today, as I said, we're riding around Eskrik. So Eskrik is a massive country park. There are lots of cross country jumps all the way around it. And I think about 20 miles of hacking. So it's beautiful. We're going to go through woodland. A nice autumnal hack was the plan. As to whether these two actually behave themselves enough for said hack, different matter entirely. We will not be doing any of the cross country jumps today. Um, we've both opted to stay well and truly on the flat because we have two very fresh ponies um, and mine is freshly clipped also. So we'll not be doing that today, but let me know in the comments below if you would like to see me doing a cross country video around Eskrik next time we come. So it was at this point that me and Ellie thought we were on some sort of synchronised horse riding team. We were like, we'll cross in the middle, that'll look good. Um, and then the ponies just decided that it just wasn't chaotic enough. You know, this beautiful autumnal hack needed adding a little bit of pumpkin spice. So whilst me and Elle may have opted for synchronised riding, the ponies were opting for synchronised shenanigans. So Brandy's act of the day was throwing herself up in the air at every opportunity, and Smokey's was flat out canter slash gallop depending on how he was feeling in the opposite direction to what I actually wanted. But despite all of this, we decided let's attempt a few canter shots, shall we? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs>
So guys, that is the end of the video. We literally finished on that last canter, walked back to the box and then rushed home to get the ponies back before dark. I didn't get the horse box back home until like nine o'clock at night. It was pitch black. So I've had to film the outro on a different day. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed all of our autumn antics. It was really fun and we did have a really great day. The ponies just were very fresh, um, but that's horses for you. So a massive thank you to Ariat for once again sponsoring this video. All of their links will be in the description box below. Let me know in the comments if your horses are feeling particularly fresh this autumn or fall, wherever it is that you live and what you call it. And don't forget there will be another video next week, so be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all then. Bye guys!